Preeti Patel to ban visas. In today's video update, we will talk about Preeti Patel, the UK Home Secretary who could soon be able to block visas for nationals from countries which are thought to be unhelpful in taking back asylum seekers. The power is incorporated in a clause in the suggested Nationality and Borders Bill, published this week. Brightest and the best. Changing the UK. UK. Single global immigration system. The Nationality and Borders Bill would allow the UK Home Secretary Patel and all future post holders the ability to discontinue or put a hold on the processing of visa applications from countries that do not liaise with the UK government in relation to the removal from the United Kingdom of nationals of that country who require leave to enter or remain in the United Kingdom but do not possess it. These immigration laws, which would provide Preeti Patel powers to send refugees out of the UK and restrict visa allowances for nations, denying to accept them back were suspected of containing glaring omissions, which would deteriorate the asylum crisis. The UK Home Secretary, Preeti Patel's New Borders Bill sets out plans to permit the government remove anyone believed to have travelled to the UK illegally, sending them to safe countries, or out of the UK processing centres. The law would provide the Home Secretary the power to restrict visa accessibility of any country, denying to take back citizens under the new immigration system. Much of the rule is attached to the hope that the UK is able to come to arrangements with other nations around receiving refugees, but there is nothing to confirm this is certain. The UK border force would be provided the power to interfere at sea to turn migrant boats away from the UK, but they would need the arrangements of other countries, like France. The UK Home Office denied to comment on the progress of any discussions, but specified nothing was ruled out. It argues the bill is intended to discourage migrants from making unsafe journeys, while still welcoming individuals through safe and lawful routes. The Nationality and Borders Bill, which was announced to Parliament recently, contains provisions to establish offshore processing centres for asylum seekers, waiting for a decision on their claim. Those who the UK government think have a valid claim, but need to have made it in another country will be provided temporary protection, while waiting to be deported, permitting them to work and access healthcare but not benefits or public funds. The law dubbed the anti-refugee bill by campaigners would make it a criminal offence to meaningfully arrive in the UK, without permission, with the maximum sentence for those coming to the UK illegally, rising from six months imprisonment to four years. It signifies that, for the first time, how someone coming the UK lawfully, or illegally, will have an effect on how their asylum claim progresses, and on their status in the UK if that claim is positive. The bill includes articles to permit the UK to be able to deport asylum seekers to a safe third country, and to make claims at a designated place, regulated by the Secretary of State. Even though little detail is given on this, officials think the bill provides the potential to allow for offshore processing centers to be set up overseas, like the highly notorious and costly method adopted by the Australian government. Our video ends here. Do you agree with the actions taken by Home Office? Comment below and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching.